Okay. So, y'all are in a situation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we rejoin the crew in a cage that you thought was Riddler's secure storage room. The walls... We have been informed of in some of our defenses here, I, I think. We have been given information. I mean, to be fair to you, you still... I, I would say, how, how to phrase this, to be fair to you, um, <laughs> it wasn't not Riddler's secure storage room. That's true. It's it was just secure. It was just also something else. And what that something else was, as you have seen, is a cage um, in the middle of a much larger room, this dome-like room, made uh, with this interior dome of small panels. A couple of spotlights shining down onto you. I mean, in I the feel center, pretty securely stored. Like, he is securely storing something. It's yeah. just us. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's all a matter of perspective, really. Okay. Uh, and at the end of the day, I think we've all learned a lesson. About what? Unclear but I think we've learned a lesson. So in the center of the cage that you are in, there is uh, this clockwork mechanism that has risen up out of what you thought was the basilisk material lockbox in the center of the floor. That one, I'll give it to you. That one, very clearly not also the basilisk lockbox. I, I think we can all agree on that. And in the center of this mechanism, there is this large central hourglass, which has just flipped over. And the sand has become begun running from top to bottom. As it does that in the dome, one of these panels has flipped to reveal what Ed and dot, dot, dot know is part of of a basilisk image and accompanying it and the dripping of the sand through the hourglass is a heavy thunk, 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 thunk of a huge ticking clock somewhere far above in the dome. It's not enough that they have the hourglass. We also have to have the audible ticking clock. Well, uh, it's been real nice working with all of you, but uh, don't see how we're going to get out of this one. No, 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 I, no, no. We just saved you. We can't talk like this. Jackie's already looking for anything she could potentially use. This is so far beyond her, but to try to sabotage this. Mm -hmm. Or like shoot, shoot, like, like, I don't have a gun, but... Um, interfere with either the, the the clock is too far above us but the hourglass or maybe even the image panels itself like all i have are empty boxes yeah um i mean you have whatever gear you have on you you have the 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 shelves with the lock boxes sunk into the floor along with the walls as they were part of the walls um but you have um you have some cash in vacuum bags as well. We do. I, have a pair of, I have a pair of mini bolt cutters. I have an empty adrenaline syringe. I have a brain. I have my drone. I don't have one of those. Uh, can I uh, use my ability keen eye to look around and find something? Yeah, sure. Okay. You are studying the area for something. Yes. that will help you and yes. you are going to use your ability to notice something that would be otherwise impossible to spot with the naked eye that is correct all right beep bop boo five and six let's fucking go oh, yes okay cool we desperately so, needed that w um all right cool so with a Six. How would you how would you notice this? Hmm. Okay. So I think 
what you can see dot 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 is you look to the hourglass mechanism um and you can see there there are some uh there's some clockwork there's some gears that are uh that sort of go down into the uh into the floor right and mm-hmm. you can see them kind of ticking away right as the hourglass drains and you look up and out of the cage and we sort of you know with your your keen vision sort of zoom in on one of the gaps between the panels here and you can see vaguely vaguely so faint in the darkness in between the panels there is some mechanism that is moving in the same rhythm as the mechanism that is attached to the clock. Oh, I'm sorry, attached mm. to the hourglass. However, mm. okay. As you notice this and make and make note that those two things appear to be synced up, you hear a door open on the opposite side of the room. So there is the security door behind you where you came in down that sort of airlock hallway, right? That's sunk into the ground completely. That's gone. Um, But directly opposite that across the dome, there is uh, a door that opens and you see a flood of bright light spilling in and you hear the tap of a walking stick on the tiles of the dome room as a figure oh, man. steps out of the light and uh, into view. I think it is safe to say as soon as he is visible, you all very readily recognize the Riddler Mr. Edward Nigma, who strides into view in his green suit and bowler with his question mark cane and stops a few yards away from the cage. Well, well, Mr. Brait. How interesting to see you in this situation. What's up, Ed? Oh, what's up indeed? And he looks up uh, towards the top of the dome where another basilisk image panel flips over to reveal another part of the image. I knew that you would come back to try to get your basilisk stuff, so I'm not surprised to see you here. Um, it was unfortunate that you had to bring a crew into this, though. They didn't need to die today, uh, though unfortunately that is what is going to happen to all of you now, I'm sorry to say. Let's not count our chickens before they hatch, Nashton. Fair enough, Mr. Brait, but uh, unless you have the ability to stop time, I don't see how you're getting out of this one. Uh, You really, you did a good job. Um, you, uh, definitely did what I intended, which was a, a very robust security test, uh, and test of the various puzzles here. Um, I'll definitely have to tune things up for when Batman tries out these. They clearly weren't quite challenging enough, uh, if the four of you could breeze through them. Can, is, are these bars, like, can you reach through them at all? Or is it, like, yeah. completely blocked? No, you, you oh. could reach through them. How far away is the little riddle boy? <laughs> uh, like I said, he's, he's stopped a couple of yards away from you. <laughs> well, you know, I, I can't say I wasn't part of the process of setting these up and designing for you. Uh, I was certainly very fond of the process, Mr. Bright. You were uh, invaluable to this work. And, uh, well, I'm sure now that uh, I've passed it off to the Mad Hatter, he'll have plenty of fun with it. Um, The 
material was all transferred earlier in the week before you uh, could ever have a chance to have infiltrated the facility. Oh, um, are you sure? Quite sure, Mr. Bright. I, I have something for you, actually. Give me one second. Will rummage through it, uh, his backpack, and dot 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 is going to say, real quick, have you seen this before? And shows the bright red angry uh, Baz list that he just made. That's have extremely you seen this before? good. I fucking love this. Um, Fuck him up. I, I want this him. to just, I want this to just work. I like, I, I want to call for, a, I feel like I should call for a role, but I also don't see any plausible way that this would fail, you know? Sure. Um, let's, let's get a roll. Let's have a fortune roll to see degree. Uh, sure. Here, because I don't see any scenario where where this doesn't elicit a reaction. Where this is an absolute failure. Yeah. 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 Right. Like you've set something up where there's there's just no there's just no way that this would not succeed in some fashion. So I think this is going to be a fortune roll with your. Um, what did we determine that you used to make this initially? We used study. That was study. Okay. Um, mm, yeah, then let's have a fortune roll with your study rating. I think that makes sense. Okay. Do I take one off uh, for the Riddler having a level on me? I'm going to say no, because we're in fortune roll territory, not action roll territory. So, right, like, gotcha. the, it, If there were a chance of failure, then I would say this was contested. But we're just trying to figure out, like, How degree of effectiveness. How about a five? How about a five? Okay, yeah. So a uh, under under normal fortune roll rules is a, a weak or mixed success. So you're not going to, like, you're not going to goad him with this into, like, frothing at the mouth and, and losing his mind. Um, but he does, like, catch a, a glimpse of it before um, he, he sort of turns away uh, and, and blocks his eyes. Um, and you can see, like, his, his sort of shoulders starting to go up and down with heavy breathing. And he's, he starts pacing back and forth and just s sort of stamping his cane on the ground with every step. And he's no longer facing you. Um, yeah. But he is sort of pacing back and forth in a with his with his back to you, um, such that he doesn't turn back and looks at the thing. But he's clearly this has had an effect. Mister Bright, that was extremely unprofessional of you, and this oh, only well. confirms exactly the reason that I set all this up. You've become too ambitious for your own good, Mister Bright. You've become too much. You think you're the one who should be in charge? Well, Mr. Brait, let me tell you something. I am the Riddler. This is the Riddler's facility, and I am the one in charge here. And I will very much enjoy dragging your corpse out of this dome. Don't you ever fucking shut up. Oh, you really, uh, you really got to him. Oh, and you! And he, he sort of, he does temporarily, like, whip around to point at you, Ed, before realizing that he, he might be facing in the direction of the basilisk. Uh, and then he's, he's pointing at you, but with his head turned in the other direction. Oh, don't even get me started on you, Mr. Shannon. You think I'm an idiot? You think I, I don't know so who you idiot. are? You worked for me for <laughs> years. And you have the I audacity to come up to me. Look me directly in the face and act like I would I would have no idea who you are. Uh, I don't know. Sorry, I guess I thought your memory just wasn't very good. Who, Mr. Shannon, do you think informed the cat of her parentage? Yes, um. stew on that one in the few precious minutes you have left to live. And he's, I think, pissed off enough that he is, like, going to start stalking out of the dome. Yeah, what do you got? Um... We got him monologuing, uh, and I think people were distracted. I would very much 
Oh boy. Use a Hail Mary here. Yeah. I would think that while most of us are paying attention to that, and obviously this role is going to determine that, I'm Jackie will have backed a little bit to the side of this cage and is going to reach up uh, past the where that feathered part of her hair is over one of her, her, her right ear and is going to tap something repeatedly. Cool. And very quietly just say, oh God, I hope someone's listening. Are you pulsing something or are you turning it on? I am, that's a great question. Are you are you trying to transmit what the Riddler is saying, or are you trying to like, um, like? I'm turning. Yeah, I'm communicating myself. Code. Yeah, it's okay. it's a it's a it's a signal. Um, okay. I'm not trying to record the Riddler. I'm trying okay. to get a message out. Understood. Cool. Okay. Um. Because I'm I've been watching uh, him have a breakdown and talk, but I've also been seeing. This basilisk image is clicking down. Yes. Yeah, and like, as he has been talking, for sure, several more panels in the room, tick, 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 flip, have flipped over. Cool. Jackie, give me a fortune roll. And 5d6. What? What? It's a 5d6 fortune roll. Oh my god, that's so many. That's so many. Wow. That's what it is. Okay. okay. All right, here we go. I'm going to do this one at a time. <laughs> Two, six. Should be keeping track of this. Two, six. Six. All right, we're, we're already at a critical. Six. Oh, we're exploding. Hang on, I'm doing all of them. Right. How many was oh that? God. That was four. That was four. Four. Okay, so you got three sixes. Three uh, sixes. Fucking shit, that is crazy. This has been aggressively successful. I, oh God. All right, so, uh, yeah, we, um, we see the Riddler, uh, like again framed in the light of this doorway, just, just stomping out of this room absolutely fucking furious uh, as uh, as Jackie is tapping her ear uh, in the corner of the cage. Can I What's say, your next move, y'all? Can I say one more thing to Riddler? Oh yeah, yeah. What what do you what do you say to his, to his retreating back? Any baby. Wait, hold on. I have a real for you. <laughs> Tell me it works. He, yeah, also, I don't see any way that he wouldn't stop. And he 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 stops framed in the doorway, and you see his cane in his fist shaking, silhouetted against the light that's coming in. And he just, he just turns back to you just enough to sort of see his profile. He's listening. What follows every good riddle? Hmm. Mm hmm. What follows every good riddle? I don't actually have a good solution for that. Um, um, and I think, suck on that. Yeah, I think his his parting shot is he does fully turn turn back to you, silhouetted in the doorway, um, and you just catch the glint of those uh, purple sunglasses that uh, we established he was wearing earlier, uh, and. He shouts across the room, As I've explained, Mr. Brait, you're death! And stalks out. That was incorrect. Well, Do you just say that in a normal volume? As yeah, I'm just like, just like, <laughs> it's one of all of you guys have like, that was wrong. Well, what's the answer? A dot, dot, dot. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's very good. Thank you. That's that's very good. And it's studiously not bringing up, just very much not bringing up about him. Tick, <laughs> tick, tick, tick. Okay, so there is okay. a mechanism in the paneling 
connected to this hourglass. If we can somehow manage to stop that mechanism, that will stop the hourglass. And I believe the hourglass is also connected to the basilisk. All right, so we have a six clock. Um, one segment has been filled. When the clock I... is completely filled, all the panels in the room will have flipped. Can I use my ability TikTok, which is when a, when filling a segment on a clock, mark one stress to tick or untick one additional segment? This one has started with that one segment ticked. However, you can use that if anything happens that will tick additional segments. So basically the way this is going to work is for every attempt that you make at solving this puzzle, getting out of this situation, we're going to tick a segment. If things go bad, we will take oh additional segments um, in your in your attempt. So every every time you try something, you're taking a segment. But uh, we do we do from dot 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 have that that move that can come into play. So that'll Hell help yeah. you probably very substantially. Awesome. Tick. Okay. So how do we get to the mechanism? Well, it's um, in the paneling, so behind I it, have, I guess. I have my drone. Oh, yeah. You do uh, have the drone. The drone is out of batteries. Uh, can, I, <laughs> can I have brought a backup battery? Yeah, sure. Uh, let's, uh, let's have a quick flashback. This is going to cost you one stress. Ed, uh, tell us how you uh, tell us what made you decide to bring the backup battery. I think that before we left, um, Ed was using the drone to deliver cat food to the feral colony, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he noticed how quickly it ran out of battery, and he actually had to like it fell in like a really um really like inconvenient spot and he had to like go down and scare away all the cats and it was thing he's all right gotta remember to keep some extra batteries around for this thing yeah cool uh so mark it off on your gear sheet and ed uh, out of your cargo pants you pull a second drone battery all right just gotta pop this baby in and uh well just tell me where to go. Um, gotta be honest. I I feel like I may have I may have suffered a minor concussion, so my eyes are, you know, I'm seeing double vision, so I don't know how good I'm gonna be, at, you know, steering I... this thing. But uh, do my best. We can try to help. Oh, um, yeah. What 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 do I do? I mean, dot dot dot. Can you tell me where to go to get yeah. this device? Um, dot 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 is going to point towards like the specific panel like that that he can see like between the cracks of to show yep. you like where about the mechanism is like located to try and like stop it. Right. Cool. Okay. So yeah, then dot dot dot. If you pay one stress, you can kick a another die over to Ed. Um, Ed, to start, you are um, like all the like all of the Riddler's stuff. Um, we're we're looking at a level two situation here, so you're down one to start. Um, uh, yep. I don't think we're in a desperate situation yet, um, but also note. Um, for every level of harm that you have all your boxes marked, you're down one. And then oh, you're up I... one. And and then you're up, up one? one from uh, dot dot dot's help. Right. Um, so you can always is... push yourself. That's I, an option. I, I, I actually um, can't. We could start talking about devil's bargains, though you are in a literal cage <laughs> in the middle of a death trap, so I'm fucking stump y'all please don't make me come up with one i'll do it but i don't want to um mm -hmm. 
And uh, I think we're we're probably talk, talking about you operating the drone, Ed. So we're we're looking at your operate rating. Oh, which is what okay. We with. Well, I have one die. Uh, okay. Did you add the die like for the stress I paid? Yes. Okay. That is where my one die is coming from. Great. Um, Very glad. Okay. Uh, I feel like I gotta go get my lucky die. <laughs> but you got this. Okay. Um. Yeah. No, that's a two. Ah. <laughs> oh, um, good. <laughs> Yeah, all right. Uh, yeah, so we're going to take two more segments on the clock. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm, like, steering it, and I think Ed really does have a concussion, and it just, like, I, he, like, crashes the throne, like, into yeah. the panel. Yeah, that's oh. that's exactly what happens. Ed, you're you're flying it through. You're, you're sort of trying to aim it, and suddenly you, you get this, like, just moment of wooziness. And your finger slips on the controls, and it uh, the drone goes slamming into the panel full speed, and you can see it plummeting to the ground, and it crashes, uh, and bits oh. of propeller like go spinning across the floor. Did we call the drone? It had Boink. A name. The drone's name was Boink. 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 A problem. Uh, Boink. I don't no. believe that we established this previously <laughs> on air. But it has been on the sheet the entire time, and its name is Boink. Boink, no! Oh, Jesus. Yeah, you, you really boinked I'm Boink sorry. up. I'm sorry. No, Ed, Ed. Just take it easy, okay? And another There's gonna be a way panel. Out of here. Chunk, 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 flips over. Okay. Um, dot, dot, dot is going to go ahead and just spray the surrounding area to see if there's any other lasers or any other like otherwise unseeable light fixtures or projections or anything. Okay. Just just to see. Okay, cool. Let's have Yeah, I mean I don't see any way this isn't a study role. Yeah. So uh, study roll. Um, you're down one because you're up against the Riddler. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, I don't want to push myself. Well, fuck it. I'll push myself. Oh boy. All right. I have two stress marks left. We're doing good. I want to get out of here, guys. We spent all the luck really early to 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 teabag the Riddler. Um, <laughs> that's a it's a one and a three. Oh, yikes! Two more we're segments. Die. We're not dying. I'm <clears throat> not dying here. Question. The Riddler will not kill me. How much does it cost to get gear via flashback again? Is that one stress? Yes. Oh, yeah. One stress is the standard. If it's something absolutely outrageous, it's two. Oh, it's not outrageous. It's practical, lightweight. And you can make it at home. I, I've been thinking about this. I don't think there's any way we're doing this the 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 smart way. I think we should. I, I think Ollie's literally just been kind of sitting here stewing, trying to figure out how to help. Um, and then they're gonna realize that um, they've they brought something for later that could be helpful now. Dot dot dot. How thick do you think this floor is? Uh. Well, I, th I think. We're, well, this isn't the bottom most layer, so we might we be able to- We just saw some of the, I mean, the, the, the shelves all sank through it. It's obviously got some sort of paneling. Yeah. Well, what are you thinking, Ollie? Um, Ollie's looking at both the floor and these bars. How thick are these bars and what are they made out of? The bars appear to be made of steel. They're pretty thick. They're like square. Uh, they're probably about like two inches. Inch in diameter? Probably two about inches two. inches in diameter? Yeah. So like- yeah. Yeah, big. Okay. Yeah. Um. Okay. 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 Uh, Ollie is. I'd like to spend the. I'll spend my one of my two remaining stress. Um. Th this is a flashback, not to the um, not to the goth bucks, but to earlier. Um. This is something that Ollie had cooked up a while back for uh for the purposes of. They, they they assumed that they would end up on their own trying to work their way through Ace. 
They didn't want anybody else to be involved. But sometimes when you have to access an area um, and you don't want to use explosives, there's this fun, fun, fun thing called thermite. Um, and it is a anaerobic oh boy. Ex incendiary compound. And if you mix it with what is functionally Play-Doh, you can make moldable thermite. And all you need is a lighter magnesium ribbon and it melt through pretty much anything. Enough of the stuff. Uh, um, fun fact, this is uh, what downed the Hindenburg because the outer coating of the Hindenburg balloon uh, had... Powder paint. Yes, ha had an aluminum powder paint that inadvertently turned into thermite. <laughs> yep. Oh boy, and we've all learned yeah. something today now. Yeah, so uh, I think Ollie Double has like what is... Know? It's that, but it's burning white hot uh, yeah, incendiary. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's not a shooting star. It's just burning magnesium. <laughs> well, the magnesium, you need the magnesium because the magnesium gets hot enough to ignite the thermite, and then the therm thermite just goes until it doesn't Oh, it just, it just burns. Gotcha. Yeah. You know, when you said this item was practical, lightweight, and can be made at home. I really was not expecting a fucking a white hot, fact. yeah, <laughs> incendiary kind of explosive. Well, it's not an explosive because it doesn't react explosively. An explosive is a chemical reaction where you're getting a, a, a mass release of it's mm. energy. In this case, it's uh, you're burning without oxygen, which makes it extra fun to deal with. Um, I wish you taught me chemistry. Chemistry <laughs> with you would be fun. My my high school chemistry teacher deadass yeeted like a like a, like a, I, I think it must have been like maybe a quarter of an ounce of uh, pure potassium into the, the lake near our school school oh my God. and got fire departments called from around. So. <laughs> Pure potassium, when combined with water, is just a, a column of fire. Uh, oh. Also, magnesium can all pure magnesium can also react that way, which is weirdly enough why lawnmower fires are such a concern. We're Shedding learning fires. so much. Yeah. Uh, anyways, this um, is easily our most educational episode. So <laughs> Ollie. Um, anyway, you... so Ollie's got some so, moldable thermite. Okay. Cool. So yeah, one stress. Mark it on your gear. That that is a perfectly reasonable thing that you could have thought to brought to yeah, thought to Ollie's, have brought. Ollie's yes, got it. Think, brought, yeah, a perfectly reasonable thing that you could think to bring. Oh yeah, <laughs> Ollie's got like a solid like, mm, let's say roughly ten pounds of moldable thermite. It's a lot. Uh, the, their entire inner hoodie pocket is just. Um, two large flat pieces of this moldable stuff in um, in a vacuum sealed bag um, and a little bit of magnesium ribbon and a lighter. Um, Great. All right. And what's so your, uh, what's your procedure? So, yeah, keep working on that. But no offense, but it looks like you guys don't exactly uh, have a great grip on this. So I'm gonna try something over here. Um, don't look directly at the fire. Is it's it the is it the thermite? Yeah, it's the th yes. uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Really? oh yeah, that's right. You were you were there for the whole thing with the bridge and the RV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 This yeah, is my done. favorite. I mean, you um, can just burn the place down. As far as I'm concerned, go ahead. Chunk, 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 and another panel flips. Uh, oh. They've been flipping I'd the entire time, and at this point. The room is like a 50% or possibly more patchwork of Basilisk image. I want to, I'm, I, I want to say that Jackie has been looking at the floor and like sideways at you guys because there's no, there's nothing in this room that's preventing us from looking away from it. So yeah, I just talk, I'm not taking any risks. I don't know if partially looking at this thing is going to like derange me later. Yeah. Uh, how far apart are the bars spaced? How far apart are the bars spaced? They are probably spaced, let's see, two inches, and they're probably spaced about, eh, so yeah, probably about, uh, I would say six to eight inches apart. Okay, so we only need probably to break Probably more two? like six. Sorry? We only need to break two. Figure it out. 
Because yep. Ed's not fitting out with just one. And I don't think Ollie is either. <laughs> and dot, dot, dot's not fitting out one. <laughs> None of us are fitting out one. Got it. Yeah. Um, yeah, so Ollie pulls uh pulls out one of these packets, um, kind of uh just tears tears off the top with their teeth, and then begins applying like this dark grayish, lightly shiny, um like almost like like um clay looking substance all around the bottom and the uh bottom and middle are, are like, let's probably about like six feet up of um of two of these bars so it's a thick uh, a nice thick uh ring around uh around it at four points um and then is going to uh insert four little strips of magnesium tape into each of those and then light it with a lighter all right um give me an action roll for this ollie um we are definitely looking at a tinker roll because you are tinkering with explosives, uh, though we've established they're not really explosives. But um, we're looking at a tinker roll. You're doing this against a steel cage. The Riddler's level doesn't really come into this because um, it's it's a somewhat, yeah, like I, I don't see any way that his level could affect the quality of this cage up or down one way or another. And, oh boy. Um, I will let you decide if this is a desperate action or not, because the uh, oh, there's there's so one bad. segment left on the clock. Yeah. Well, I don't want to self sabotage, but it does feel pretty desperate. I just yeah. pulled out the thermite, so fuck that. That'll put me at a at, at a dis or at okay. a disadvantage. So you're down one. You can push yourself. I we can talk myself. devil's bargains. Uh, what? Give me or... a devil's bargain, David. Okay. Uh, and note that help is also an option here. Anybody can pay stress to aid. If Does anybody have I a can... single stress? Wait, I. if this is a situation, Ollie, that you think you can reasonably get help by being talked through it, I don't have to pay any stress to help you. But I'm not sure so. if that qualifies. It doesn't feel like because it's actually just a very practical. We're just sticking board. it onto the thing, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I I can help. I have uh, stress available. Okay. I okay. can't push so, myself. So, so then I think you have to up. hand. I think you have to hand some of it off to dot dot dot. You just like, you you essentially just shove it into his hands and say, "Here, start doing this." Right. Oh hi, I'll go low. Okay. Uh, and uh, dot dot dot. Begins to get way too sculptural with it. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, oh you're yeah, do it, you're doing like the little, uh, the little. Wave, I'm rolling uh, it up in my hands. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> gotta make sure the filigree is right. Get, yeah, get absolutely. Get some scalloping right. into this. Escape um, is an artistry. And do we do we want to talk about a devil's bargain? No, I just rolled. Okay. Five. Okay. Mixed success. So. I think because so, you have I, acted, I, so that does fill the clock. So the mixed success is um, this is going to work. And if you bolt for the open door, you will all only suffer minor harm. Hey, so that's, that's the mixed harm. success. <laughs> yeah, Ed can't take that. Uh, well, Ooh. rolling to resist is also an option. Yeah. <laughs> um, How many I stress mean... do you have available, Ed? <laughs> what? Mm -hmm. uh, so, ro I, I, if you uh, get a roll... six, you don't have to pay any stress. Oh God, are we? We're about you to can lose you can always my... roll it and choose if you you know you don't have to resist. You can see what the roll is and then I mean, decide Ed, if you if you want to resist. It's one or one. Yeah. Right, we're we're back to, we're back to. Does Ed get knocked out from stress, or does Ed get knocked out from injuries? Uh, oh, no. In which case, y'all have to, you you do have to, you know, figure out how to get Ed out of here. But so, mixed success, that's what we're looking at. Again, unless injuries. unless you roll to resist. Can I roll and then decide to? Roll yeah, 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 for sure. Like, uh, I I think you're resisting with. This is just a like. Um, I'll let I'll let you choose. It's 
either prowess because you're trying to book it out of this room as quickly as possible, or it's insight because you're relying on what you know about the way the basilisks work to uh, not look at them uh, as you go. Um, so let, let's I... resolve this, and then we will describe okay. the oh, combined. Right, yeah, yeah. Then oh, then God. we'll describe the combined scene of the thermite going from Ollie's action and the four of you booking it, unless you're not booking it and would like to do something else. I think there's no reason for us to stay here. Yeah. I wouldn't personally. I wouldn't either. But I have Trust to, as the GM, to. give you the option. You got the money? You definitely got some money. Yeah, right. I think we gotta run. Let's go. Okay. Maddie, do you wanna roll it first or do we wanna get this other oh, bit first? God. What do you what do you um, feel like? I don't know. What do you guys think? I guess I guess I'll just roll it. I think you should roll it. Okay. Do okay. it. So uh, so I guess I'm down two because of my <laughs> No, this is a arm. this is a resistance roll. So we're oh, so just looking at yeah. Uh, is it are you are you resisting with your insight or are you resisting with prowess? Insight, please. Okay, so you're you're resisting by Ed just knowing where not to look, uh, based on your knowledge of this stuff. So, I have a question. Insight down the column. Oh, y'all, I got a six. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Cool. Question. Oh, <laughs> me. Um. Okay, so I'm not looking at the basilisk, but I am looking at the colors being projected around the room. Can I tell from the colors which basilisk is being projected? I'm assuming the death one, but, you know. You recognize, like, enough of it has flipped over at this point. You absolutely recognize this is the death one. Right, cool. Yeah. So here's what happens. Ollie, dot, 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 you finish, you know, slathering. Eh, it's, it's not really a slather, it's more of a clay situation. You, you finish coating the... Uh, the steel bars of the cage with this thermite compound. Uh, Ollie, you light them up. There is this blinding, hot, white, bright fire light uh, that uh, you all have to have to turn away from, uh, which is not great because as you turn away, uh, you are turning towards a a part of the dome that is almost entirely basilisk image. Uh, so you're all like temporarily blinded and then you turn to the side and you catch a glimpse of this thing and like you you start to feel like the sort of backs of your eyeballs aching um, and uh, you... Uh, you you hear the 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 thermite sort of just munching through burning through these uh these steel bars um and when they're when you know they're weakened enough ollie i think you probably like kick out the the bars and then it's just go 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 and all of you tumble through the opening that Ali has made in the cage you're going towards that door on the opposite side of the dome where that bright white light is spilling through and as you're going you are seeing the final panels of this room flip over and all around you is this basilisk image you're trying to focus on just the doorway, just the light of the doorway, not the surrounding image, but your heads are pounding. Your, uh, you can feel, I think, uh, if, you, if you look to the side, if you glance to the side at your companions for a second, uh, you can see that blood is starting to drip out of all of your noses. And... As the f you can hear the final panel clunk into into place as you all tumble through that door and into daylight. And behind you is the basilisk room. And you are all, again, everybody except for Ed, who did manage to resist. Everyone's taking one box of minor harm from that experience. 
Ollie. I have tenacious. Fuck your harm. Great. <laughs> You're good. Uh, and um, the, the four great. of you. Yeah, the four of you are out of the dome room and you have just a second to catch your breath. You are now in, uh, like I said, you're facing sunlight. Um, you are now in a another office style corridor, um, but this one, one side of it is floor to ceiling glass and you see that you are looking out uh, over the office buildings of the Gotham Financial District. Uh, you are quite a ways up in this building. You look right. There is at the far end of the door um, a, a sort of uh, regular door with a crash bar uh, that has uh, fire uh, written on it. Looks like a fire door. And then to your left, you look down the hall a little ways, and there's quite a crowd of people there, all in green suits with clubs and bats and knives and standing at their head is the Riddler absolutely vibrating with rage <laughs> and he turns to the person standing next to him who dot 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 you recognize they're in a green sort of commando outfit with a mm. uh, green ski mask pulled down over their face wielding a katana this is Slash and Riddler says to Slash, fucking kill all of them. And Slash and this gang <laughs> of what has to be upwards of two dozen Riddler goons rush forward down the hall at the four of you. What oh. do you do? So the, 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 the run, run, door. Run, 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 run. <laughs> Yeah, we're running. I don't see what else we could I'm do. I'm going to try to, like, run with you, but I would love to be as much as possible. Oh, God, if anyone gets close enough, I am shoulder-checking them into walls and doing my best to make sure the three of you get the fuck out of here. Yep. All right, so Always you are hitting the nearest the person in the face with the... Uh with uh, that pair of mini bolt cutters. I love that. I have that. the ability lightning reflexes, and if the, if there's a question about who acts first, it's always you. I, I do wish I had taken quick draw because it would be deeply funny to quick draw lightning reflexes somebody in the face with a <laughs> yeeted pair of bolt cutters. That is very good. Okay, uh, cool. So Jackie, yours is sort of like a held action for if they get close, but Ollie, yes. yeah, for sure. your lightning reflexes mean that you you legitimately always act first. So we have uh, we have racing clocks now. So we have your clock, six segments. If your clock fills first, you escape this massive gang of Riddler guys. We have a clock for Slash and the Riddler goons. If their clock fills first, they catch up to you and corner you. Those are the stakes. Ollie, oh. you are uh, you are whipping these bolt cutters back at this this onrushing crowd as you flee. You're down one to start. This is absolutely a desperate action, so you're down another. Um, you can push yourself. We can talk yeah. about devil's bargains, but what's the devil's bargain there, David? Gosh, um... <laughs> you still have to take a stress for them. Yeah. So do you the... have any stress left? No, I'll go down. Never mind. Okay. Uh, Never mind. Do, do you want me to come up with one? I'll come up with one. I, I do want to know just for okay. the sake of you. I want you to do labor, David. Yeah, sure. More labor I, than I, your, I, I the immense amount this. you already do. Yeah. I understand this. Okay. Um, The... <laughs> 
devil's bargain here. Yeah, I mean, I I have to give you like a, a fucking impossible one. The devil's bargain here, Ollie, will be that there is, if you take the bargain, there is no conceivable way that you can do anything but leave the ace chemical tower like there's That's there's just no rude. way that you there's no way that you can have any time in here okay that's rude i don't like it i'm just gonna keep my one dice and hope for the best all right let's see how it goes fuck you that's a six hell yeah okay hey, cool. let's fucking go okay so the cruise clock we're starting off we're marking um i'm gonna say uh with a with a six that's probably one segment with no consequences great okay cool so uh we so ollie you hurl those bolt cutters back and we just get um like uh you know you know the shot in uh, uh in spider verse where he throws the bagel and it pops off the guy and it says bagel, bagel. we get a shot <laughs> where you throw the bolt cutters back and it pops off one of the one of the onrushing riddler goons head and it just says bolt cutters there's a sound effect <laughs> uh, and he and he goes sprawling back and probably gets trampled by the the rest of the the gang uh uh rushing down this hallway so the four of you uh like i said there is a crash bar and this is what crash bars are for you crash into the crash bar on the fire door you tumble through into a uh a concrete stairwell uh up down up up you uh and you start running up uh, you go around, around, up, 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 several flights, um, and you, um, you can hear pounding, uh, behind you the footsteps of, of the gang on the, on the concrete steps below you. Uh, you, you rush up and you get to the, uh, the top of at least this stairwell. There's only one door to go through through unless you guys just want to let ollie lead the charge i mean um, you have two options do we know yeah. what floor uh this is is it marked uh Ooh. yeah uh i think uh you were uh let's say you you were roughly on the 30th floor so i think this lets oh, out what? on the 40th oh cool i'd right. say ollie since nice you have those lightning reflexes you are by default leading this charge yeah. um, um yeah, uh, you, you know what? Let's say no. Let, let's say let's say it's the fortieth floor. I like forty. It's a nice I like forty. What's uh? I, earlier I had looked at the um, at the um, the building registry, like the 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 like you know, the building registry. What what was listed for the fortieth floor? Is it just Ace Chemicals? Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah. Through the door. Ollie's Great. going through the door. Okay. So you burst through the door and you are in um, a big open area. Uh, there are large glass windows along one wall, cubicles uh, arrayed throughout the space, workers typing away on computers, talking on video calls, uh, and... Uh, Oh, I'm immediately far... going to grab the nearest desk and slam it into that crash door. Yes, very good. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, all right. Um, let's... Uh, 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 we'll, we'll do this as an action roll. Um, so uh, you're down You're down one because you are doing this to oppose the, the Riddler's goons. I'm down one because I'm hurt. You're down another because you're hurt. Um, and y this has got to be... Mm, I think this is probably maneuver. You're probably maneuvering the desk around I quickly. I am at disadvantage, and Can I, I don't provide... feel like collapsing. Can I provide assistance? Yeah, for sure. I will spend a stress point. <clears throat> okay, cool. Uh, so the two of... made out of? Huh? Uh, what's what's the desk desk made out of? Uh, it's it's probably some sort of like um, what what am I thinking of like a like not lucite, 
maybe lucite it's it's like a yeah it's, the, the it's black. one of those sort of like uh thick sort of like uh, smooth plastic sort of situations okay. but like that the heavy stuff yeah you yeah, know? I know yeah yeah okay yeah well, it's a very very sort of standard day out day in like uh generic office furniture yeah mm. I, I don't so, know what modern office furniture looks like um it's it's not interesting I'll tell you that. So, World of four. Jackie, what do you what do you say to to dot 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 to help I think that, we, that instigates the help? Yeah, uh, we we burst into this office space. Uh, Jackie does like a split second scan and just goes, "Kid, grab the desk!" Like literally, grab yep. one like side of it. Those heavy desks that are in cubicles are almost impossible to move by yourself. If it's what I'm thinking it is, and just like we're we're literally. We don't have to be polite about this. We are just no. Like, you're chuck it you're, yeah. you're that chucking door. it so like you're you're not like moving it to the door. You're pushing it so that it slides across the floor and slams exactly. uh, against the desk. So yeah. mixed success. What I'm gonna do here is we're gonna take both clocks. So uh, <laughs> they're getting a little closer, but you are getting a little further away. Um, and there's like. Uh, an office worker who's left just sitting in his swivel chair, like, hey, that was my desk. And uh, are you continuing to to book it further into the office? Okay, cool. So yeah. you you start running past these these rows of cubicles, and there's people who are like peeking over, and you get a few shouts of like, hey, who are you guys? You're not supposed to be here. Um, and you can see on the far wall. Um, uh, of the, the the sort of uh, past all the cubicles, there is a big floor to ceiling Ace Chemical Corporation logo. You know those sort of like metal, uh, like popping out of the wall, uh, raised typography sorts of things. One of those. Um, so you are definitively in the Ace Chemical offices at this point, uh, and you are just. Booking it straight across. What is your goal here? Are you trying to get further up? Are you trying to go back down? What's the plan? Question. Yeah. I know that this is the worst thing ever to do ever. Should we split the party? Oh, uh, God. Uh, right now, I don't know if there is a good way to split that party. Unless we're going would, up and down. It would have to be essentially random or like something that you could convey to each other in a split second because you are actively running full tilt across this floor. So oh, I would if like you're going to do it, it, it has to be quick. Hmm. Ollie just yells, fire. Incredible! <laughs> yes. And uh, is there yes. is there a fire alarm like a, a handle visible anywhere near? Oh here? yeah, for sure, for sure. You yes. you run you run down. You get to the wall where the Ace Chemical um, the Ace Chemical logo is, uh, and there's sort of a um, there's sort of this big wall, and then there's a corridor that goes down. And as you run down the corridor past the wall, you just uh, you just pull the the nearby fire alarm and shout fire back into the room. And immediately, mayhem, bedlam. The, the fire alarms st start going off. There's flashing lights. There's the, you know, there's the, the, the whine of the, the fire alarm siren going off. Uh, people are... Um, I think under normal circumstances, if a fire alarm goes off in an office, people assume it's a drill and it's fairly sedate, which is what you want. Like, that's the entire goal of doing fire drills. You want when there's Gotham. a real emergency. Right, right. Um, however, I think the four of you doing the desk business and then running through the area <laughs> already has people primed to panic. So at least in the immediate area that you ran through, um, there is shouts, there's panic. Uh, you can start to see like papers flying up as people just abandon whatever they're doing and run 
for the fire exits. You can actually see, if you glance over your shoulder, you can see a group of people because the nearest fire door is now <laughs> blocked by a desk, just like desperately trying to move this desk aside. Um, and uh, I think though you are well out of range, which is the time that the desk bought you, by the time they move it aside, what you would see is they they manage to slide it aside and as they are opening the fire door in one direction uh it whips open and out tumble this gang of heavily armed green clad riddler thugs onto the office floor um so it is a decidedly chaotic scene that you leave behind you you are bolting down this hallway um you um i think just in a in a sort of split second i think it has to be i think it has to be dot 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 based on on what we've established um you just happen to notice that one of the side corridors that you passed has a sign uh on the wall next to it that says uh in somewhat large letters special research do you do anything uh this way <laughs> uh and just mm, we try okay. and break open um, cool okay sweet. so you you notice this and you're just i i think you're maybe in front of the group at this particular point right like ollie ollie stayed back for a half a second to pull that fire alarm and mm -hmm. let's yeah. have a roll um sure. that study for uh for ollie pulling the alarm ah yeah yeah so uh, what is that, uh, maneuver? maneuver, you're trying to do this as quickly as humanly possible. It works, um, but we're, we want to see if we tick, uh, if we tick clocks. Uh, do I have any disadvantages? I'm pulling a fire alarm. I don't think so. You're not down a level against the fire alarm. I would um, argue that I'm up a level on the fire this alarm. Is, this is a, you know what? The fire alarm is level zero. I will accept your argument. You get you get one. That's two sixes and two twos. Because oh I have my god. Yes. Two sixes. Okay, amazing. So with two sixes, you're going to take two segments on your clock for the crew Hell to escape. Yeah. You're doing good. All right. Uh, two segments left and you're home free. So you... Uh, so dot 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 you're in the lead you have you notice this thing that says special research this way the the crew you all uh you all make this sharp left turn and you head down uh, a sort of uh, fluorescent lit back hallway uh narrower than the one that you were just in uh and on either side of you there are doors with glass windows on one side as you run past you can see that you have some rooms filled with filing cabinets and on the other side, you can see a couple of rooms of like server racks. Ooh. And it is, I think probably, uh, well, I'll, I'll leave it to you. What do you do? Is there any security on, uh, so we're running down this hallway. Are there doors? There are doors with windows. Through the windows, you can see uh, what's in the rooms. Is there any obvious security cameras? Uh, there are definitely security cameras in this hallway. Yeah. Okay. Uh, are the doors locked? Do they have, and if so, with what type of lock? Give me a fortune roll. Uh, is this is a... just a straight D6, I think. That's a six. Okay, Wait, cool. Oh my God. God. Yeah, it's, yeah. we're killing Molly, it today. As, Marcy, as that you... was the obsidian face you gave me. As you run, uh, you you sort of slam the door a couple of the door handles as you go past to check, and they open. They're not locked. Uh, Ollie's going into the server room. Okay. Uh, Jackie is going to bring up the rear for all of you, and every door we go through, I am pushing whatever I can get. I am, like, kicking over things if need be, putting chairs, desks, anything, locking doors as we go. Okay. There's nothing in this hallway immediately, but if you want to barricade the server room door with what's in the server room, you can try to do that. Note that it is the only door in or out. Okay, okay, then never mind. Uh, okay. 
I, as we were going in through, okay, this is this is just one way in and one way out. This whole area. Um, th this is a hallway, so there is an exit at the other end, but off the hallway, there's doors on either side, and you have slid into one of the side doors. Okay. Yeah. Got it. I will retract that then because there's only one way in, one way out. It's not okay. Close. I mean, you were definitely doing that as you were running through the cubicle sure, farm area, but not the mm -hmm. server room. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You were just like strewing stuff behind you, just whipping chairs out from cubicles. Uh, oh, hey, that's my stapler. <laughs> okay, you're in the server room. Uh, you can definitely hear like back amidst the, you can hear the sort of chaos of the, the fire scenario uh, actually crescendo. Uh, and I think you can make a pretty educated guess that that is the Riddler goons bursting onto the office floor. What's your next move? We're just trying to get out at this point, correct? You're in the server room here. Okay. So the, the crew's overall goal is, I have to assume, to get out. You can tell me if you have a different goal. Okay. Um, we but... know, I think, like Jackie and Ed anyway, know that Ollie had a bonus mission. Oh, that's right, yeah. So yeah, what Ollie's, do you want to do about that? Ollie's immediately like, is there any way we can lock the door? I uh, mean, I can try to jam it, but it's the only way in and out. As long as they think it's locked, that's all that matters. All right, I'm going to, whatever's around here, I'm going to try to like, yeah, there's a lock. Door. There's a lock on the door. Um, Physical, there's just a, like. Like a physical, uh, like... Yeah, it's it's just like a you know just a standard deadbolt? like deadbolt toggle. Oh. I'm gonna do more than that. I wanna I want we'll, we'll do the standard lock, but I'd also like to see if I can like get something under the handle just to make yep. it a little bit even more difficult. Like it's not worth it. Not yeah, worth there's a couple of there's a couple of like workstations in here off to the side, so you can like grab one of the chairs from those and and try to like jam it under the under the handle to sort of brace it. Uh huh. Yeah. Ed. Yes. Can you fuck up the servers real quick? Oh, uh, I really we... don't feel too good, but I can try. But first, we need to look for anything to do with Ivy. We know that they, it was them that was experimenting it. This place is what, like special research? That sounds codenamed for shady ethical violations. Yeah. So... Um, I can try and look through. Uh, I'll do my best. Okay. Whatever you got, Ed. Like, you okay. look like shit. So, Ed, you, uh, you know, you sit down at one of the workstations here, um, and you are trying to log in and quickly paw through whatever files you can on this server to try to get something that might be related to Ace Chemical's work on Poison Ivy. Think you're probably tinkering with the computer systems? Yes. Do we like that? Yeah, that seems okay. right. Okay. Cool. Um, all right. So you're against Ace Chemical, which I believe is uh, level one. So you're at level parity. No, no level disparity there because there is a severe. Now, no, I. Again, I'll let I'll let y'all determine this. Is the time crunch severe enough that this is a desperate situation? I mean, yeah. We are being actively pursued. You are being actively pursued. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So you're down one for the desperate situation, but you get XP. Yes. Mm hmm. So I am at disadvantage. All right. Um, you can push yourself. We can talk about devil's bargains. You're just looking through files. Is there any way that like Jackie can sit with you and be like an extra pair of eyes as you're quickly scanning through this? Because that is something I can talk you through. Yeah, I think so. Especially because yeah, sure. it's Ed's, and there's like... then I can help you with no stress that needs to be paid. I'll just sit like hunched over you. I'm assuming you're taking one of the chairs. Yeah, and right. Like you're all, you're you're over to the side, Jackie, and you're you're like also scanning through and, and sort of pointing things out. Wait, maybe that yeah. one. Open that. Yeah, see okay. if they've got a no. file on like Occam or, or Pamela Isley or like 
I don't know, super shady ethical violation backslash this one. Ideas. That was a, <laughs> <laughs> a one. A one. Okay. One. Oh god. All right. So uh, you are going to. So you're going to find something, Ed, but I am going to tick two segments on the clock. What, it, what does that make us? So... Oh, great. I you, the enemy clock. So the enemy clock is halfway, three out of six. Oh. Your clock is four out of six. Okay. So... I think what happens is, and I think Ollie, you're probably on the other side also looking because you have some more specific information about this. Um, so, uh, you know, Ed, you're able to you're able to crack the system, no problem. You can get in. You start scrolling through through the files. Jackie, you're you're giving some suggestions. You're pointing out some other things that are popping up on the screen. Um, and Ollie, you spot. Uh, you spot a file that has the name that has a name at least uh that sounds like one of the names of the scientists that the arkham guard remembered seeing on their id badges you see um you see the name dr oscar rodriguez and you remember she mentioned a Dr. Rodriguez. It's certainly not the most unique name in the world, but you do remember that uh -huh. the uh, uh, that that the guard mentioned a Dr. Rodriguez. I'm on a separate terminal after Ed cracked the the servers. You're like you're looking over Ed's shoulder. Oh, I'm looking over. So yeah, Ollie yeah. is going to be like uh, that one right there. Ed. Ed, okay, Ed, okay. Back, no, back, 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 oh, back. Oh, okay, back. Wait, too far, I, too oh, far, too oh, far. Oh, oh, this one? <laughs> yeah, that uh, Oscar Rodriguez. Look that. Okay, and you pop it open. Um, there is a a photo. Uh, you know, a, a typical sort of uh, corporate ID photo of a guy in a tie and a lab coat uh, with curly black hair um, and there is uh, there's some information about him as a person, he has some contact information, uh, uh, address, emergency contact, his, his health insurance plan that he's selected, and a list of um, his project history. Um, you notice that the most recent project that he, is, that he was working on was something called Project Series. Hmm. Uh, Ollie's going to take a picture of that with that bedazzled um, pink uh, ra razor flip phone. Um, I take a like just over the shoulder, like right between Jackie and all it, uh, Jackie and um, and Ed, and uh, just snap, snap, snap. And that's really all you have time to do because you can now hear the uh, the the Riddler goons uh, down. Like you can actually hear them further down the the hallway. Next move. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. I'm wondering if it would actually be better to let them get ahead of us. That's yeah, also that's an option. Thought. We should pretend that we're not here. That's what, like, look, if they can't, if they think that we're not in here, that they think that we moved on, because who who would be dumb enough to go into a server room with one, only one way in or out? They don't know the what locked. we actually came here for. Just some chuckle fuck forgot to lock it. Like, they should, they would expect it to be locked, not that it shouldn't be. Let's. Can we turn off the lights? Yeah, Jackie will hit all of the lights. Um, and this is off to the side anyway. So most likely she's going to like post up right by the door and listen and wait for uh, like uh, a crescendo of noise. And then hopefully that glorious day crescendo as they get ahead of us. Yeah. All right. Um, let's have a roll to it sounds like you're you're trying to skulk your way out of this one in the Ooh. server room fam um i think nobody has enough stress left to do teamwork so no. y'all are gonna have to roll this individually okay Ooh. okay yeah and if if any of you uh if any of you fails this one 
might not be so hot. All right, so everyone's starting with their Skulk rating. You're against the Riddler's goons, so you're down one. Can I um get like a little devil's bargain? Uh, yes. Uh, the devil's bargain has to be uh that you you can all get the D6, but you're losing that phone that Ollie just took the photo on. You saw the information, though. You have it in your memories. Do we... Is that worth it? I I mean, I can't take that bargain, because I will still collapse mm. if I do. Yeah. I, I literally have only one stress left. I want to save it to get you. You don't have to pay boom. stress for a devil's bargain. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I thought you did. No, no, no. Devil's bargain is instead of stress. Oh. oh. It just yeah. stresses you out. It just stresses your character out. out. Yeah. I misunderstood. Uh, yes. yes. Ollie? Are you cool with this? By you, I mean everyone. <laughs> I mean, look. I don't know, man. I feel really bad about- Yeah, same. Here's, I look, dude, live your best life. I'm gonna leave that to you. What do you think Adam Adam would do? Ooh. That's that's the, Adam's ambitious, Adam. That is, is it Adam but, or dot, dot, dot? I don't know. Yeah, that's a good, oh, sorry, that's a good question. Which who's 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 really in control here? Who's at the what, helm right now? And what's the what's <laughs> what's your tell tell us, Andre? What's your character's motivation wow. in this scene? All right, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> dot dot dots are a fucking high right now. Um, basically basically causing mass chaos. Dumped on the Riddler. Uh, still has a basilisk for himself. Knows that he can now make basilisks on his own without. Uh, the Riddler's assistance or technology knows where is, the rest of the basilisks are. Knows where the rest of, got the information of who bought the basilisks. Things are real fucking good, I think. Uh, dot 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 is definitely gonna just push his luck. Uh, recognizes that this is very important to Ollie, who is a very dear friend to him. And I think is not going to take that bargain. You're a menace. Do you want to flip for me, Marcy? Sounds like you're having a hard time deciding. Yeah, I think you, I you am. You have two options, and it's very difficult. You're like the worst version of Clippy. Good choice. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like you're having a mental health crisis. Do you need help? <laughs> oh, that's so good. Flip All for right. me. If okay. this falls, everyone is going to hear it, because this tile is very loud. In my new okay. office. Okay, gotcha. Very graceful of me. Heads, what does that mean to you? That's Adam. We don't take it. All right. We keep the phone. Roll them up. All right. Here we go. We are down a level, correct? Yes. We're all at disadvantage, I think. Yes. Uh, yeah. I, I only have one in Skulk slash Prowl. Ooh. Oh. Wow, did everybody get a two? What'd you um, get? Did you get a one? I got two ones. Oh, oh my no. god. Well, that's that's kind so of a two. <laughs> oh, wow. No. I oh had to my come god. Back from those three sixes somehow. Those three sixes were really going to kill me at some point. Yeah. Okay. yeah we, we are we've... marking two segments on oh, fuck. The, the Riddler Goon's clock. Mm. You have oh, one really segment before it. they catch you. So uh, I think what happens is um, you uh, you hear them, uh, you do hear them rush into the, the main hallway that you were in and you hear them stop and then you can hear in the, in the distance down the corridor uh, slash say um, spread out, find them. And you hear a... Uh, quite large number of footsteps now coming down the hallway in the direction of the server room that you are currently locked in. What do you do? Where's the closest window? The there server no room. Windows There's no room. windows. Was there were windows outside of this room, correct? Yes. Okay. The the closest window that you have seen would be back in the direction that you came towards the, like, in the cubicles area. Right. Towards the outside of the building. Um, 
there may be you're probably in the sort of central core of the building now based on where you were previously right like you okay. were at the edge of it because you were near the windows and you ran towards the center so there's windows presumably on the other side you saw the outside of this building it, it's a you know big building I've got an with idea. big glass windows i've got an idea uh adam has his repel gear on dot 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 will swing the airway and say do you have belt loops like on your pants do you have belt loops i mean yeah of course i do that's gonna have to do um and is going to start oh, no. handing out some rope and bungee oh, cords. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my god. Look, this is what I got. This is how we get out. We're fucking doing this. Are you guys ready? Okay. No. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm ready. All right, let's fucking go. Um, <laughs> okay. Die? Cool. <laughs> how are you getting out of the server room to get to the windows? Are you going back to the ones that you know about, or are you going to try to continue across to the the ones that you don't? I'm going to try my luck at the other windows to see if there's any window maintenance happening. We have to okay. open the doors first. Yeah. You do have to open the doors and the... Yeah. Like... Everybody got twos. The Riddler goons are seeing you. There's no scenario where they're not seeing you. Okay, here's what we're doing. Yeah. You guys, you guys go the second I get this door open, and I am going to try to get them off of you. But just go, and I will be right behind you. Okay. Right? Okay. You, you better be right fucking behind us. Ed, I swear to God, Riddler doesn't get to kill me. There are some things that uh, I just can't allow for. All right? All right, okay. we're getting out of here. Let's fucking move. Um, three. Uh, Jackie moves one of the items away, two. She clicks the unlock on the door, one, and pulls the door open. Oh, go, go. And I'm while running. you guys bolt for it, I am gonna leap on anyone that I can get my hands on. But I'm not just like staying to have like a knockout drag out fight. I am just trying to like, Grab, shove, and keep going. Okay, cool. Ugh, so not my best idea. You, you kick the door open. You, you're back out into the hallway. The three of you, dot dot dot, Ollie, Ed, you are booking it in the direction that you were going down to the other end of the hallway and hopefully the other side of the building. Jackie, you, uh you pause to intercept the oncoming uh, Riddler goons. There's like 10 guys who are who are running down this hallway. Um, I think they, they've actually stopped their like full on run to check and you can actually see them like checking in the windows. But then as soon as the door opens, it's all, there they are, get them. And they are coming uh, directly. Can I at grab you. the one of the chairs that I used that was formerly blocking the door and like drag it behind me for some momentum and just yeet it at them? Yeah, yeah, and like fling it around the door uh, as they come at you. Yep, you are certainly attacking these goons. Um, you're down. You've got your attack rating I'm to down start. Two. You're down one. Uh, you're down another for your injury. This is desperate. I got to take Damn you it. down another one. Oh, like, this is a totally desperate move. Oh, okay. God. Um, I can't do anything about it. Can I? Ooh. Fuck. Not run. But I, I need this stress to fill up the rest of the clock if we get out. So that we can just get out of here and be done instead of doing another challenge. But I, I want you there. No, I don't want you collapsing. Okay, fine. Fucking roll. Go for it. Listen, I thought about using my stress for this, but uh, we're just going to trust in fate right now. Just a little bit. Oh, a six and a five. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Disadvantage, you're, you're looking at the five. Okay, cool. So mixed success. Um, yeah, so I think this... Uh, this this will work, uh, and we'll we'll take up your crew clock. Um, but Jackie, you are going to be held up with with these guys 
momentary. Like, in order to keep them off the rest of the crew, you have to stay engaged with them. You can move towards the crew as you go, but you are going to have to, like, if you just turn around and bolt, they're going to get to everybody. So you have to kind of back them up uh, a little more, a little more strategically. Can I? This is going to put me at disadvantage, but since I'm already, I think Jackie's already bleeding profusely and knows she's not at her best, crippling me further isn't going to matter if it cripples the rest of them. I'm going to turn off the lights. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so uh, you're going to try to back up to a a light switch and and hit it. Okay. Cool. Uh, I'm going backwards from where I came, so I just I I, I have that kind of footpath mildly memorized. Okay. Uh, cool. So I think uh, if the three of you, Ed, Ollie, dot dot dot, if any of you glance back, what you see, the last thing you see of Jackie in this moment is you see her whip this chair around uh face off against like 10 people back up to the side and then the corridor goes dark the three of you uh book it through to the other the other end of this corridor and you come out in an identical like office cubicle area the only difference is this is empty the fire alarms are going off the lights are flashing everybody has already cleared out of this area uh due to the fire alarm what's your next move windows windows baby how how are the windows looking (laughs) big and uh extremely glassy cool any window maintenance today Give me a fortune roll. All right. <laughs> oh, God, this is so bad. This, this is just a straight D6. <laughs> it's so upsetting. I got a five. Five, okay. Uh, mixed success. So okay. I think um, I think you rush over to uh, to the window, and you can see that there are cables that are that are going down uh and if you sort of you know get an angle on it and kind of press your head against the glass you can see that there are um there is a a window washing um what do they call them it's not a cart a platform platform yeah there's a window washing platform um quite a few stories down from where you are but it is there what do you do 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 you have your carabiners? Here's what we do. Oh. Attach your carabiner to the cable. And we're just going to go down. Okay. Oh, God. And then okay. once we get to that, I'm pulling the lever on the platform so we just keep going down. Okay? I'm, I'm really scared of heights. Okay. I'm going to hold on to you. Okay? Don't let go. Don't okay. let go, Adam. I've got, I've got you, Ed. I've got you. Look at my dad. Oh, you're breaking God, the window. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's some real, actual, like, mastermind Ollie's... stuff right there. I'm just like, Ollie's... I have this big idea. I haven't broken the glass yet. I think you turn around to do that, and then Ollie is going to pick up whatever. What is, what's the heaviest object in this area? Uh, it, it's, like a, it's like a fax machine. Yeah. He is about to yeet a fax machine through this window. Yeah, yeah. Someone's going to have a really bad day on the street. Uh, yeah. Question. Do I have a level on the window? Do you have a level it on is the a window? window? I can't think of any reason that this would be... I mean, it, it is reinforced glass. Yeah. But it's still an inanimate object. You can't dodge. You have That's a level true. on the window. I can't, I can't think of any plausible explanation for the window to not be I feel level like zero. The, there's an argument. Uh, technically correct. The best times. Um, yes. yes. Is this a desperate situation or no? Um, We're about to jump out of a fucking you're about window to jump on the out 40th window. floor. And, and there's guys coming at you. <laughs> hey, so, Maddie, yes. tell me how you really feel. 
Uh, that's that's a five, a three, and a two. So mixed success. Okay, mixed success. Uh, cool. So can we see? And sorry, second last question before you. Yeah, do yeah, this. yeah. Can we see Jackie at all? No. You cannot see Jackie at all. If you turn and glance back at the hallway, it's pitch black. You can't see Jackie. Okay. Yeah. So. Ollie, you grab this this fax machine that's next to one of the cubicles. You just yeet it through the window. There's a, a, a huge shower of glass that bursts out. Uh, and then we get the wind rushing in from, from, you know, this tremendous height. And the three of you are standing on the edge uh, of this uh, of this precipice, looking down the concrete and glass facade of this building to the uh, sickening depths of the street below, <laughs> which I think is where we're gonna break. All right. God, we're gonna die. We're all gonna die. We're not gonna die, you guys. We might this. die. Don't worry about <laughs> it. Only one way to find out. Tune in next week. Thanks for joining us on Manipod Studios for Streets of Gotham. Streets of Gotham runs Mondays at 8 p.m. Eastern. You can watch past games on youtube.com slash Manipod Studios. Let's get our players sign-offs and shout-outs. My name is Andre. You can find me at Andre Vera Art on Twitter and Instagram, uh, and at my uh, website AndreVera.Art, which has my professional illustration portfolio, as well as all the actual plays that I'm in, including The Atomus Tragedy, The Illusion, Unicorn Hunt, Redline, Power Rangers, and Streets of Gotham. Um, uh, also, want to shout out my uh itch uh itch.io slash andre vera art we can get some games um i have some uh games that i've just made by myself uh as well as many collaborations with uh my my dear dear wonderful uh super dylan uh including uh at, at the time of recording our newest uh collaborative game american world fight club which is very fun you should check it out I have been Hopper. Regrettably, I will continue to be Hopper. Um, if you are uh, a masochist and uh, interested in seeking out more of me, uh, you can find me here on this network uh, very often on Flights of Fandom uh, every Tuesday and uh, on The Hole in the World, our award-winning uh, act uh, Invisible Sun actual play. Um, in addition to that, uh, I can be found on the interwebs under the legend tree, including on Twitch, where it's done with underscores, so you can come watch the deranged shit that I do put out there. But it's good deranged shit. I have been Marcy. If I shall continue to be here in future, only time will tell. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, I feel pretty confident you can still find me here on Manipod Studios pretty much uh, every Tuesday, as Hopper said, doing flights of fandom. Um, we've got a whole bunch of those episodes coming up for you, so you're going to want to keep your eyes right here on this channel each week. Uh, and uh, yes, I too am in the hole in the world, which is every Sunday. Uh, as I've said before, I'm a writer and an editor. You can find me almost anywhere online under the username Experimental Madness. And if you can't find me there, well, you can find me under my secondary, lesser known name, uh, Marsifal. Maddie here. Uh, you can find me on social media um, as Seller Tater and on my website, maddiecourtney.com. Uh, I'd love to plug my friends down at the Laughing Dragon Inn. They're another really great group of TTRPG streamers. So definitely go check their stuff out. Um, I believe they have Twitch, YouTube, and also a cool website uh, with all their characters and campaigns and stuff. And I've been David. You can find me on social media at DBrunel Brutman and on Manipot's Flights of Fandom. You can also find tabletop RPGs I've designed at dbb 8itchio including In the Dark, the Blades in the Dark hack that we play right here on Streets of Gotham. And with that, we'll see you next time.